Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today on Rugged Outdoors Guide. I'm Pete and I'm thrilled to have you along with me today. We're going to talk about how to build your own carry yoke for, uh, I'm going to be working on a solo canoe but it works for whatever canoe. And uh, we're going to be in the shop today so get your drills handy and uh, the more tools you have I guess it makes it easier if you have a um, uh, electric saw of some kind and a belt sander or vibrating sander whatever uh, is helpful but you can do it with the most basic tools so uh, let's figure out what we're talking about specifically and get into some of the details all right friends so what we're talking about today is how to make your own removable wooden yoke for um, carrying your canoe. I'm doing a solo canoe today, uh, but you can do it, of course, whatever size canoe you would like. Now, when I say DIY, I'm talking about really just an assembly of parts here. So this yoke, I, I, I didn't mold it myself out of a piece of wood, which by the way, I had that coming up sometime soon. It's gonna be another project on just how to, how to just make a yoke step-by-step step out of a two by four, really. So it's even cheaper than this. And then um, these yokes or these uh, clamps, obviously I didn't make them, they're a purchase. So what you would do is typically buy the yoke. It's not a molded one, but um, you can do whatever you want. You can buy a molded one, that's fine too. Now, you're looking at about 40 bucks US for that, and you're looking for at about another less than 20 bucks for a set of these clamps. So, uh, just so you kind of know what we're talking about here, here's the clamp, and it's really just a, uh, yeah, let me unscrew that here. It's really just a, uh, a, a metal sort of uh, bracket or chunk of steel with um, plastic or rubber coatings for protection and then it's a bolt that goes right through and then you've got this this um, knob really it just screws on so very very simple concept it's it's called a hold down clamp and it's meant for just working in in a shop or something like that where you want to clamp something down to let's say the side of a workbench so that's really what it is and it works ideally for for a uh, a removable canoe yoke in fact if you buy one uh, a a ready made yoke the clamps they use aren't even as good as this really they it looks similar um, in every way, even this this part on the bottom, but it's a bit shorter and there's no protective uh, plastic coating. So honestly, I think this is better than what you can buy out there. So I was given this. It was a very generous uh, donation to me by a friend of mine named Greg Robertson. He's uh, an online outdoor store retailer, mostly having to do with paddling stuff. Uh, paddles and, and even canoes and other sort of accessories, uh, the yoke obviously, and uh, so he, he gave that to me. Uh, great guy, uh, he's, he's up here in Canada in a little town called Beamsville, Ontario, in southern Ontario, but he's gonna like ship it just about everywhere as far as I know. Now I don't think he'll do that with the canoes, but you know, you can probably uh, give him a call and uh, check him out online and just sort of let him know what you're thinking. Organicboatshop.com. All right, so he gave this to me, but the thing is, when he gave it to me, it was meant for a much wider canoe. They make these yokes really wide, like, I don't know what, they're they're almost like 40 inches or something for the widest canoes, and yeah, you can get different widths, but I had to cut mine way down because I needed it for a solo canoe. So what I did with mine, how I started the process, is I just put the canoe out on uh, kind of the lawn, uh, anywhere where you can have nice access to it, and, uh, and I measure, I didn't measure, I just kind of lifted the edges a little bit with my fingers to find out a good balance point. And I knew that I wanted the front of the canoe, the bow, to be a little bit lighter, be easier for, for me to carry on the portages and such instead of pushing up. It's easier to just use the weight of my arms to kind of pull down a little bit. So um, I took that into account when I found a great spot to, uh, to, to install my yoke as far as the balance point goes. So then, so then what I did was I just measured where I wanted to cut it and um, of course uh, a power saw is a good thing to have but uh, you can use any sort of hand saw that would do the trick nicely as well. And then once I finished cutting it I had to go put it back on the, uh, the, the, the gunnels to measure where I wanted to put the clamps. 
And so the, the really the, the cool thing about these clamps is that I drilled one hole. See there's you can see that hole right there. So I just drilled one hole, but that's where the, the top is going to go with this, uh, this knob. But on the bottom, you can see it, it kind of goes, there's some adjust, adjustability. So that's, that's really helpful. You don't have to get it right, right on exactly where you're, you're going to put it. You, can, you, you probably have about a seven or eight inch leeway of forward to back movement based on this, uh, you know, it slides back and forth almost an inch. Uh, or three quarters of an inch or so, I would guess. And so, yeah, it gives you some leeway, which is great. And so I just did one at a time. I drilled the hole, I measured, I drilled the hole for one and then uh, clamped it on and then did the same with the other. And uh, eventually it, um, you know, after a few minutes, turned out quite nicely. The other thing to keep in mind, I don't want to confuse you too much, <laughs> but if you look at this clamp, it's, it can go either this way I know it's kind of busy back there. There, maybe we'll do this. It can go this way or this way. I would suggest this way, which means this the short piece here is the one going under the gunnel like this. Because if you do the long way, one under the gunnel, it'll work fine, except that you're gonna to have to make this knob closer to the to the the middle of the yoke itself, and what that'll do is that will um, kind of cramp you if you're looking to put uh, yoke pads. Kind of they kind of go here where my hands are, maybe even here, and so you don't want this knob any closer in than you have to. So the way to minimize that is to do the short piece under the gunnels. So you'll figure that out once you start doing it. And by the way, the information on where you can get this, of course, I told you where you can get the, the wood at the organic, uh, organ, organicboatshop.com and, and uh, these clamps, I just get mine on Amazon. Uh, I, I got the links below and uh, really, really thrilled with the price given that when you buy your own, if you were to buy your own ready-made yoke, you're looking at over a hundred bucks and the clamps, in my opinion, are not even as good. So like, it's a win-win situation to take about an hour and to just uh, kind of, uh, you, you know, do your own DIY project. You're saving about 50 bucks and uh, you're getting arguably a better product. So anyway, that's really all I did. Uh, there's really no secret to it. Um, it's It was a simple job and the only thing I haven't done here is shellac or, or seal the ends with the urethane and also the, the holes. And I'm gonna do that, but it doesn't make much difference in terms of how the final product looks, but uh, I used fine enough sandpaper that it actually feels as smooth as the varnished, you know, finished surface that I, uh, that I have on the rest of the uh, yoke. So anyway, guys, that's really about it. It's not a, a super difficult job, but I hope that I've encouraged you to kind of maybe do that yourself and to know that you can do it. It's really not that difficult. You don't have to be a, a great craftsman. And if you are, well, then you could probably do a whole lot better job than me. And you're probably laughing at me going, ha, I've done that 10 times and I've got a way better way of doing it. And by the way, if you do, please do give me some comments below. I will publish them if they're helpful to other people. If you have, if you've done your own, uh, please let me know if, if this is uh, something that makes sense to you or you've got a better way of doing it. Love to hear from you. And guys, I would, I, I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to check out what I've got going on this week. And I'm going to have another who knows what next week, but I know that you're gonna enjoy what I've, uh, I've got to tell you because I have found some use out of it. And you and I are kind of the same, at least on one level where we love to paddle. So guys, please do get out there, enjoy God's creation, and keep on looking up.